my name's Emma and this is Pia. Uh, we are the tissue viability nurses here at the University Hospitals Plymouth. Thank you for watching our video. Today we are going to be teaching you how to apply a simple bandage. So hopefully by the end of this video you should be able to know how to do it. But first make sure that you have the right PPE on and that you are adhering to good manual handling and not bending over. So make sure when you're looking at the leg that you do a full leg assessment first. Make sure that you watch our time assessment wound framework on how to assess the wound but make sure that you're looking at the leg and you've checked the heels that there's any pressure ulcers underneath the heel that you've washed and creamed the legs. So obviously guys you'd have your sterile wound care pack out with all your bits and pieces that you're going to need. Um, once you've assessed the wound and chosen what dressings you'd need to use you then need to hold them in place which is why we're going to be showing you how to put the bandages on. So if we can imagine that Piers got a wound on the back of her leg here so I need to hold this setuva in place so I'll put Piers leg down um, comfy net or socket net is absolutely fantastic because it will stop the um, it will hold the dressings in place but what it will also do is help protect the skin and stop any rubbing from the bandage so we just measure it up and put this one in over the top and it will just keep your dressings all in place like that now it doesn't matter if you're left or right handed but you should always use cotton wool underneath. Uh, this again will help protect the skin but it will also stop the bandage from rubbing on top of the skin. So you should never bandage from ankle to knee, you should always go from the base of the toes to the back of the knees. So we go from the base of the toes here and we go round twice for your lock. Then you go middle of the foot and then we catch the Achilles but we miss the heel and then we come back round and then we catch the heel. This gives you a figure of eight. And then what you do is you spiral up the leg. So as we spiral up the leg, you do a 50-50 overlap up the leg. Now this cotton wool layer is really important because not only does it offer protection to the skin, but if you've got patients who've got really very thin legs, uh, have got quite vulnerable tibial crests, this helps protect it. And it also gives you some shaping to the leg. So never be too scared to put as much padding as you need to put on. So make sure the leg is nice and covered. Go back down the leg here and your dressings is all in place. And then when you've had enough, and always, always think about the areas that you want to protect the most. So thinking about protecting your heel and that tibial crest. Then you've got your second layer, which is your um, conforming bandage here. Again, it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. If you're a lefty, you might go this way round, but I go this way. Um, what you want is a cuff of fluff, so you want the bandage to go underneath the cuff there of the, of the cotton wool and again it's exactly the same. You don't want to pull it too tight, if you pull it too tight then you could cause uh, problems to the perfusion of the legs. So you want to bring it to 100% but bring it back to 50% so it's just a little cheeky pull. So again you go around twice, catch the Achilles and make sure there's no rucks or um, creases in the bandage then catch your heel. And then you want to go 50-50 up the leg. And again, don't pull too tight and don't make it too loose or it will just come off the leg. And we do 50-50 all up that leg. There we go. And remember, you don't want to go up past the knee. You want to go two fingers to the back of the knee so the patient can still bend their, leg, uh, bend their knee. And you want to bring it back round. And again, keep your cotton wool above and then hold it in place with some tape. And there you go guys, this is how you do a basic bandage. Thank you very much for watching the videos. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at Tissue Viability. We've also got really good links on our website. There's also really good links on the trust page for pressure ulcer prevention. So if you have any questions, please contact. Thank you very much for watching.